So let me walk you through what you do after you fire the EEA and for the leak test and how to run the sigmoidoscope. So the surgeon's going to clamp off the bowel above the proximal to the anastomosis so that he has a, a, a seal created so he can flood the area above it and then you can put in air from below and if there were any leak or if the staple line was not, the integrity was not complete, you get a bubble where it was thin or where there was a hole. So I'm sorry I can't do, because of plagiarism rules, I have to be careful what I do. So I'm just going to show you a sigmoidoscope that I drew. It should give you the idea. So you have this clear sigmoidoscope, then you have the obturator that comes in that I have in here, and then you have a little lid that will close it so this is airtight, so that when you put the air in it doesn't just escape. Then you have a tubing like for a blood pressure cuff with a bladder that will hold the air if the valve is closed. And then you have the, the little balloon that you actually squeeze, you close the valve, and now you have a one-way valve that is going to, every time you squeeze it, it's gonna push the air in. And on this lid that you have a little screw here that when you close the lid, you can actually screw it shut, and then you have your, your seal that you need. So you take your, and we're just going to pretend the trocar is our sigmoidoscope and you have to imagine the cord. So you would take your obturator and put it in and you would lube it up on your, from your back table. And then now you have to be careful because you have an anastomosis that you've just created. So you don't want to damage that by putting this against it, depending on how far in the anastomosis is. So you go in just far enough, lube it up, go it just far enough in through the anus into the rectum that you can get a seal. And then you take out the obturator and you close a little window and screw it shut so now you have your seal. Now you get your syringe, the bulb that you can pump. You pump. You close the valve and as you pump it, the surgeon's going to tell you when he's ready and so you go ahead and pump it and you can see that it's holding air. So you take a couple pumps, you tell him you're pumping it and he will tell you whether he wants more or not. And usually I hold it up so that they can see that the bladder is showing that it's expanding, which shows that it's holding some air. So you know that you have a, a seal and that that air is going in through the bell. So you pump it as much as he wants, the surgeon wants, and then when he's satisfied that there's no leak and he's been looking for any bubbles and doesn't see any, then you can release the valve to let the air out and then it's important to also open the lid here so you let the air that you put inside the bowel come out and I would suggest maybe uh, putting your legs apart just in case there's anything that comes out as you open that lid and then you let the air out let it come out with gravity and then you pull out your sigmoidoscope and you're finished with your anterior low anterior repair and anastomosis and then you would scrub it scrub back in, change your gown and gloves, and go back up to the top.